who went with blood gravy. Talking about you know, you know, but girl, you ain't on this though. Uh, Cause nothing was the same since I hopped up in the game and I made some change. Shit, my granddad passed away this year. Uh, found out I'm about to have a kid this year. Uh, but found out I'm about to make this shit happen. I'm about to make this shit happen. This nigga is really rapping. This nigga killing shit. Don't need no practice, nigga. I'm so legit. Freestyling the art, and nigga, I've been doing it from the start since JP told me that I need that hop up on the beat like this and go around. Nigga, been all over the coast right now, selling out shows. These niggas already know that I got the fucking flow. Niggas on the radio for show, cause you know, I've been about to grind. I've been about the business shit, nigga, every time. Call this shit the Incorporated, cause now they filming this shit. Cause now I'm really rapping in the crib and shit. But well, one day, bitch, I'm about to go big. The blow up kids about to be that shit. Baby, you gon' love it. You gon' be hitting me, talking about you down for the discussion, not you down for the discussion. But baby, I'm the man like I was back then. Uh, like I was back then. Saving no hoes, I ain't bad men. Uh, but I'ma make it happen right now. I'ma make it happen right now. Blow kids, it's the team right now. I close the interview with a wave and a smile, cause that boy D worthy knocked it down. Yeah, Blow kids, 2014. Shout out to the Incorporated, my boy coming through. You already know how we do, perfect failures on the way. 216360. Hey. You know, blew up and grew up in Vancouver, Washington, you know. Fucking living, you know, a major part of my life in both. I rep the blow up kid, you know. Chase your dream endlessly like a kid until you blow up. Or, you know, you have to go and get a real job. My goal is to hopefully live like a kid forever. And if you work hard enough, you can. It's about all of us. It's not just about me. You know, you're telling the stories about everybody, you know. Whether it be the kid down the street or your best friends dealing with drug problems like heroin. Or, you know, the women you do grew up being, you know, sexually abused and raped and all these things. It's just like, I'm not being selfish with my story. I'm telling a story for everybody, you know? And I mean, like, I think of, like, Cleveland music as, like, my deeper, like, my deep, like, getting into it when I'm really emotional with the music and I'm really up front and I'm going through stuff. I'm talking about women. I'm talking about drug problems in my family and I'm talking just about life. I feel like that's my Cleveland music, the cold side. You know, not saying that Cleveland was all dark and gritty, but it's like, I grew up really quick in Cleveland. I learned a lot of shit, you know, and felt a lot of shit. So that's my Cleveland side of my music. When I'm happy and I'm seeing sunshine and like, I'm writing you about kicking it with the homies in 2008 and just riding around living my life and like, you know, becoming the man that I am today. Like, that, I feel like that's my Vancouver side just cause it's like, when I lived out here, that's when I started to become the man and I, my boys, you know, we, we ran things out here. I want to be evolution like a revolution of everything bro not even just music like art fashion everything culture like and that's why you know like with sounds of us it's like it's us bro because i'm not i can't do all that shit by myself i ain't the best artist i ain't the best dresser i'm not all that shit i just got the vision for it and if you want to hop on the team you want to hop on the squad you want to be down we can all eat bro and perfect failure is bringing 2008 to 2014 like for that for that time period for me as a kid growing up I had to feel like what our dads and uncles felt in like 98 and 99, you know? When fucking No Limit and all these cash money, bling bling, like, that was my year, bro. Like, or if you think about in 2000 when Nelly and them was doing hot, like hot in here, country grammar, and you had outcasts, you had all these different people to love, and it's just like, everything was fun, bro, and like, it just felt good. And like, we haven't had a moment like that in hip hop for a minute, you know what I mean? And like, for me, and my city in 2008, that shit meant hella to us, you know what I mean? Man, cause no matter what, you all little big ass, oh. man. All right. <laughs> yeah, nigga, I'm proud of P, man. Yeah, man. Love kids, A&R, I'm here. You know? We good? Started the dream. You know what I'm saying? Started the team. <laughs> yeah, like the blood kids is like either like, you blow up and like what your dreams have been, and you also like, blow up like personally, you know? 
Like, yeah. you feel like, yo, that's my goal, achieved it. What's the next goal? You know what I'm saying? Like, we never settle. With this rap music, bro, with the microphone, you got an opportunity and a responsibility to tell the story. Like, you can't shortchange the story. You can't not change lives. Like, if you're in front of all these people every night with a mic in front of them, all attention's on you, what are you gonna say? And like, we decided a long, long time ago, it's not about front and it's not about the money. We might talk about clothes, we might talk about girls, we might talk about parties, but at the end of the day, in some way, some context, the story is related just to you. My mom used to be a model, but me and my cousins back in Ohio, bro, if you're not tight and you're not dipped up, somebody gonna let you know real quick that you're not looking crispy. Shout out to Masha's from Portland, though. You know, they got fucking a dope original, like, streetwear line. Um, there's just a couple I've been fucking with. I've been fucking with Virgil, so I fuck with Off-White. Like, I, I feel like that shit's dope. The Hood by Air, Fagel, uh, Supreme, um, Alexander Wang, uh, you know, low budget. But, like, fucking, uh, if you want some nice sneakers, bro, some Balenciaga arenas. I'm gonna just tell y'all all summer, like, if you don't sp if you don't spend five hundred dollars on some shoes, some Jordans, bro, just get you some Balenciagas, like real shit. I'm gonna just put that out there. Side note, that's a bonus. So if I catch you in some Balenciagas this summer, just dap me up because I threw you in a nasty lot. For sure. <laughs> the plan, honestly, is to make product that's gonna take over the whole city, you know, and like and make people believe again. You know what I mean, like. Because it's dope that somebody got that city and that dude is blowing up. And it's dope, this dude's from Texas and he's blowing up. And all those people are on the radio, but you don't want your city on the radio? Like, you'll be lying if you said that. Uh, so really what we're going to do is deliver a product, you know, to the world, bro. And, like, really let them see my city, like, where I'm living and the things that we're doing now. That's real shit city a lot of people are hella like sleep like they're in a coma you know what i mean like they're not doing nothing to change their life or they're just stuck in this fucking you know comatose state and if you're you know comatose you can't do nothing you're stuck so the song is about that. that's just like digging in the archives or some shit man. you fucking can't hear it bro like that shit we'll never hear that's how blown